uh, like one of my lecturers will say, in science, in the field of science, you cannot do everything on your own. You have to rely on others. So it is a field why you must help others and you also need others to move forward in this field. So once again, you're welcome. And even after this meeting, if you are interested to become a part of Africa Young Scientists, please do well to get across to uh, Dr. Philip after this uh, webinar. Now to the discourse of the day. The theme for the whole webinar series, which will take uh, three days for us to treat, is uh, mentorship, the two sides of a coin. But today we'll be talking about the topic that says the need for mentorship in successful career development. And as the saying goes that, if you want to see further, you stand on the shoulders of giants. By the time you stand on the shoulders of those that have gone further, you see far higher than when you stand there. And for uh, uh, our speaker that will be talking on this topic, we have Dr. Philip A. Adeni, who will be talking to us on the need for mentorship in successful career development. Before I move forward, I would just like to enjoin us to pay attention during this webinar. And I trust that your time, your data that you use will not be a waste. I strongly believe that. So in trying to learn, please, you can get a jota around so that you can take notes of salient points as we go on in this meeting. And by the end of the meeting, there will be time for us to ask questions about things or areas that we are not clear about. Please, when you want to ask your question, you can raise up your hand in the chat box or you can type your question in the chat box, either during the presentation or after the presentation. But after the presentation, we'll be having, we'll be uh, replying or attending to our questions. And I also want to implore us, please, as much as possible, please let's try to keep uh, silence so that we can all enjoy what we have to benefit here today. Because you know, if your uh, speaker is on, I mean, your microphone is on, it will distract other persons. So please, at this moment, if your microphone is not on, please kindly help us turn it off. And I got this directly from Dr. Adeni that once we have muted you, and during the course of the presentation, you unmute yourself. You just have just one chance. After that, you might be removed from the platform. But please, it's, it's don't. not might. It's not might. The person should be okay. removed. You will be removed from the platform. That is <laughs> the it's a free. It's a free webinar. Okay. So uh -huh. it is. It is what we are going to get here. The value we are going to get here is free. So we don't have to disturb anybody that wants to gain more. So please, let's uh, prepare. Let's just put everything together. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Before we go to the presentation, the discourse of the day, I would like to give us a citation concerning Dr. Philip A. Adeniyi. Dr. Philip A. Adeniyi is a mentor, an innovator, a neuroscientist, an entrepreneur, and a speaker. He got his PhD in 2018 from Olabis Yonabanjo University, his MSc in the year 2011 from the University of Ilori, and his BSc from the University of Ilori also in the year 2008. He's currently a postdoctoral fellow in the Nira system at Louisiana State University, USA. He was a senior lecturer in the Department of Anatomy College of Medicine and Health Sciences at Febabalala University, Adwekiti, Nigeria. Dr. Philip Adeniyi obtained his PhD in human anatomy with a specialty in neurobiology of addiction. He has won several grants or awards in line with the company of Biologist Limited and an Ebro ARC travel bus week. Dr. Adeniyi was one of two Africans selected for the young First Hebrew Regions Connecting Award. He was selected to speak at the Young Investigator Colloquia at ISN ESN 2017 in Paris, 
Dr. Adeni, Adeni was also one of two Africans selected to participate in the first ISN GNC flagship neuroscience school in Austria, and the only African from a review article, that is the malleable brain, that came out of the highly celebrated school. Dr. Adeni is a member of several international societies, like the International Research Organization, International Society of Neurochemistry, Society for Neuroscience, Society of Neuroscientists of Africa, Neuroscience Society of Nigeria, and is a founding member of the Neuroscience Research Group since the year 2014. He was the Assistant Gen uh, Secretary General of the Neuroscience Society of Nigeria, and currently, Dr. Adeni is the President of Neuroscience Research Group. He is a conscientious and hardworking young man who has shown great interest in public education of neuroscience and research. And this he has shown by being the founder of African Young Scientists, AYS, a mentorship platform created to bring together young, dynamic, brilliant, and innovative scientists to pave way for innovations for the benefit of mankind. And this group, as I have said before, is to build the next generation of scientists for effective global collaboration. So I will use this time to welcome Dr. Philip A. Adeni to take us on the topic, the need for mentorship in successful career development. Over to you, sir. Okay, thank you, um, Hussein. Um, and let me use the opportunity to welcome everyone on board. Um, I just want to make a little correction on the award that <clears throat> I'm no more uh, at uh, LSU. LSU was a great school to me, uh, but I'm here now at uh, OHSU, which is Oregon Health and Science University, um, one of the top most schools in America. Um, I'm in the Department of uh, Pediatrics, as you can see, and I'm currently in the Department for Neuroscience, I'm in the section of Neuroscience where I work with uh, uh, Neurobiology of Aging. Okay, um, with that much ado, he, he, has told, he has told you what I want to speak on. And because I'm, and I'm speaking on this topic because I'm persuaded that for you to, uh, to be successful in your career, you need a mentor. And that's why we, okay, we we said, okay, let's bring this on board. And uh, as we learn tomorrow as well, uh, Dr. Balogun will be here to speak more on the mentor where I will round up on Sunday. The need for mentorship in a successful career development. And I will speak on these outlines, you know, it's very long. I wanted to even call some of them, but uh, as a principal in the seminar, you should talk on, you should show your audience what you want to speak on. And please, if you have your, if you have questions, uh, you can raise your hands. And if you want to type it, you can type it in a box. At the end of the day, there will be time for me uh, to attempt them. And as a matter of fact, uh, what is mentorship? Mentorship is a guidance provided by a mentor, especially an experienced person in a, in a company or educational institution. Don't forget what we have. We talk about mentor and, a, and an experienced person to provide a guidance for someone who is not experienced. And that's just a, who, a men, a, who a mentor is. And then who is a mentee? A mentee is a person who is advised that is to be trained and counseled by a senior person that we usually refer to as a mentor. And as you can see here, uh, the mentor uh, is usually what uh, the mentee. Now, what is the purpose of mentorship? I brought out three things. One, for purpose of mentee's growth. For mentee to grow, you need a mentor. For you to learn, you need a mentor. And for career development, accelerated career development, for that matter, you need a mentor. Then why is mentorship? Why is it that important? Because mentorship is a pillar for, for success, development in all human endeavors. In fact, 
most of us who are African here, we know that we know have some of apprenticeship or the other. Mentorship is a form of that. Before the advent of a former uh, institution of learning, mentorship has, has, is a part of human humanity. In fact, we, that's how we transfer knowledge from one generation to other. And you learn by seeing. Therefore, you work with the person, not uh, at, at far, far off. Therefore, mentorship is a form of apprenticeship, as I said. Mentorship is, is an increase, it increases collaboration. Therefore, if you want to ment if you, if you want to increase your network of collaboration, go for mentorship. Mentorship allows to the speed of knowledge accumulation. Yes. Just as uh, she said, Alba Asin said, I can see far because I stand on the shoulder of those are giants. Therefore, if you want to, you just imagine if everybody needs to start to build uh, things afresh. And that's why you can see how Chinese, uh, the China was able to catapult into 21st century with speed because every, all, almost all knowledge you need to become a developing nation is already available. As literally, therefore, uh, can you please uh, challenge that? Uh, it's time and scarce resources. Now, all of you are coming here now to, to learn what to hear what I will say. Imagine how my time has been skewed into your own time space. Therefore, I've already I sat down even to develop this PowerPoint for like days and years with all my knowledge and bringing them together on a single platform to teach you within just 30 to 45 minutes. That is a robust thing. Therefore, you have already gained within 45 minutes, you have already gained what I've already, I gained almost for my lifetime. That is what it is. It helps you to save time and it's start. But at the end, I, I don't know how many of you to, if, if this program is to be organized here in America, I don't know how many of, how many of you will have time to fly and have that money to fly into America. That is probably, uh, probably zero or two people that will be here. Now, and the last thing is, this is a pillar for construction of human civilization. It's a pillar, okay, and we have to start to cross uh, I think some people need to be reminded. Okay, I said again, it is a pillar for consistency of human civilization. Now, if one of the greatest, as I, let me say as an African who, who, who is proudly African, one of the problems why African fail to develop is because we did not have written form of mentorship because we do not have a written form of mentorship. Therefore, our knowledge was limited to maximum of two generations, oh, no. which is 100 years. Our mentorship was limited to about 100 years, which is like the space of one generation. Therefore, you can only transfer orally from what your daddy told you, and you transfer the same to your, to your own children, and they may not be able to integrate it well. And that is where, therefore, whatever you are thinking, what you are doubtful about, those things, they will see past it in your thoughts. And if they are not written down, and the next person comes in, they will have to start from probably ground zero. But these days, it's not like that. Most things are written down. As you know, in science, if it's not written down, it has never happened. Therefore, mentorship help us to maintain consistency in human civilization. Uh, mentors, I, I think I've mentioned some of them earlier, but I will start from uh, the first one. Uh, one on one mentorship. One on one mentorship. Before I see the stuff, you know, excuse me. Uh, Uh, where is uh Tosin? Tosin, I'm not seeing you performing your work. Can you do it? 
I can't do it until you make me a host. Or where host. are you? Where are you? I am not a host, so I can't do anything. Okay, sorry. Okay, I have to do that now. Uh, where are you precisely? Can you speak? Let me find you out. Okay. Yeah, I've seen it. Okay, let me make it host. Probably I have to lose my rights. I don't know why that happens. Okay. Can you can you okay now yes, I think I'm host now, right? Yes, sir. Okay, let's see that and so on that. Just make sure that they don't distract. Uh, they don't distract okay, any further. Okay, okay, sir. As I mentioned earlier on, we have we the, the most common form of mentorship is one on one. One on one mentorship is I and Daguro. Daguro approach me that oh I need a mentor. Okay, that's okay. I will, and I'll give him my terms of reference. Okay, this is what I want. Do this time around. Do this. I will ask him how. What do you want me to be mentoring you about? What do you want to do? And why do you approach me? First of all, I want to know why the person approached me. And again, uh, I have a, a lady. I don't know if she's here. She approached me from. Uh, my LinkedIn and that so 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 and I say she doesn't know if if I if I'll be a mentor. I said no, why not? I hardly you I don't I don't I hardly reject mentorship opportunity to a young person because I know one of the reasons not because I'm 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 just want to do it just because I knew what that and what can mean in the life of another person because some people find it difficult even to ordinary referee to get just a single letter, one page letter, it's difficult, especially in the part of the world where we grew up from. That's one of the reasons why I'm happy and I'm proudly put it on my page that I'm a mentor and I'm proud to be one. One-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Then we have a group mentorship. Some of you who have, who have done your bachelor degree, you most likely to have experienced this. Like, usually in Nigeria, we call it a, a group supervisor. You know, you have a supervisor who, who have a group of students, probably five, 10, 20. In my own time, I think we probably we are like 12, um, and so on and so forth. I have mentor students like that too. Therefore, you can be, this group mentoring is not usually effective. I think to me, the most effective one is one-on-one. -on -one. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, the group uh, mentoring is not usually effective. Like what we do on the, uh, on the AYS, WhatsApp. But the reason why I, I try to invest so heavily to build our website, which is uh, almost done, is because I want us to transit from group mentorship into one-on-one. -on -one. If a, when you go to our website, you will apply, and you apply to be a member of our AYS, and you apply to, you go through our mentor list and pick one person who is working in your area of research interest. Then you select that person, then we approve, then that person will become your one on one mentor. Because I know mostly the me uh, group, uh, group mentorship is not usually effective because it, and it cannot last longer because some people can, uh, who have uh, temperament of hiding, can easily hide themselves and the mentor may not be able to fish them out on time because the, the dominant member, we always want to get the peer share. Then we have a peer, in, uh, peer mentor where you, 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 you have a mentorship by peering. You can mentor your colleagues. Yeah, I've done that before. Uh, actually, all my career, when I was bachelor and the bachelor class, I mentor my, my classmates, I mentor my junior one. Even at master's as well, I did that the same. Even at PhD level, even now, uh, as a postdoc, I mentor some people to get uh, even the postdoc position. And that is, uh, I can do that and I do that. Then the other one is e mentoring. Uh, uh, there's a guy, I don't know if he's here. Um, what is his name? Taiwo. Taiwo, uh, my, my mentorship with him about uh, seven years ago started online. He was posted to my hometown. And he was sharing an NCCF platform that okay. I said, wow, I'm a, I, I, when I was seven during my own time in Jaws, 
uh, I was first of NCCF. In fact, I was one of the national leader of NCCF. Therefore, when I saw, oh yeah, you are doing well, well done. You are you are posted to my town. This is my hometown. God bless you. Thank you for your work you are doing. And fortunately, he studied physiology for maybe you. And I, you know, anatomy and physiology are like brothers and sisters. Okay, how are you doing? And that's where I pick it up. I encouraged him. He went to learning for uh, to Ibadan for his PA for masters. And I think probably he met he met me face to face. I think uh, that was probably 2016, 2017 when he came to Abuja. And that's how that's the first time we saw. Therefore, it, it can happen uh, through online uh, platform. Uh, you can approach then the one another one is the reverse mentoring. Reverse mentoring is is the opposite of conventional one. This time around is when a, a junior person is mentoring an older person. For instance, to do another thing. Don't forget that we always see nobody is an island of knowledge. As I'm talking now, though I have more experience than some people, I have more degree than some people. I'm privileged to have to have traveled wide and uh, far. I have a privilege of have won in several awards, but there's a lot of things that I change. Don't know that even some of you here can cheat me. For instance, uh, how to you how, how to design a website, how to do some things, probably how to do it, many other things that I don't know. Therefore, the, the knowledge is far away. Uh, I, for instance, how to speak uh, and how to write in Ausa. I can speak Ausa, but I can't. I don't remember how I write since I left. I left to the north in 1990. Uh, I don't remember how to write also again. Therefore, you can teach me how to do that. Therefore, um, and so on and so forth. That is how to do that. Uh, but though this this is one of the problem that our leaders uh, always fail to do because we uh, don't want to bend down and learn. The other one is speed mentoring. Speed mentoring is uh, is very. Uh, for instance, you you want something. Let me use the case of people that want to apply for PhD abroad or postgraduate study abroad. Therefore, you can this time around you need to ask people on how they do it. Therefore, it, speed mentoring is that it's looking for several mentors to teach you a particular information about how you want to do some things. For instance, you can talk to someone how to do the how, how do I do my SOP, and you can talk to someone, okay, how do I do my CV? You can talk to someone. How to, or you can, for instance, you talk to me how to build your CV. I help you. And once we are done, you send that copy to some of your, or your people that okay, help me to correct it. You're like your peer. Can you help me to go through it? Like when I was done with my, with the seminar today, with my uh, yesterday night before I slept, when I said, okay, this is done, I send a copy to my wife uh, who helped me to criticize it and send me some points, even some things. I remember when I was doing copy and paste, I, I failed to change the title. Uh, I just posted something. I just failed to change the title because I wanted to. Uh, I wanted this uh, logo to uh, to appear on all of them. But therefore, when I was designing some of those things, I had to delete some the previous one, try to copy those things into another one, and I failed to change the title. And she was asking, "Oh, what's happening?" And, and I noticed, "Oh, okay, I missed this aspect." Therefore, it's always good because at the end, of what I used to tell to my mentee is that don't feel ashamed when people help you. Because when they give you award, when they are reading my list of awards today now, nobody, I did not list it. I don't see, I did not hear Tosin said, oh, this award was gotten because someone helped him to review his paper. Nobody will tell you that. Nobody will do that. Therefore, it is you, it is you, that's all. It is you, therefore, try to do that. But I want to lay emphasis on this. Speed mentoring is not a permanent mentoring. Therefore, just for a question, for a particular thing, don't make it permanent attitude. Because if you make it a permanent attitude, there will be a confusion. For instance, if I'm mentoring you, speak to me about a particular thing. Don't go and be, because we have different experience. That can actually backfire. Because someone asks you to do this, and someone has to do this, then it can cross match. And that can be a conflict of interest. Well, you may not be able to know what you need to do, and that will affect you. I don't like that. If you want to be my mentee, be my mentee. I don't want you to have a conflict of idea. Let me know this is my job, and let me do it for you personally. 
Now, what is the uh, benefit of mentor? As I said, uh, mentorship has benefit to both mentee and the mentor, but mostly is to the mentee and to the uh, to the society at large. Therefore, uh, the role of as a mentor, as a mentor, you are to mold the next generation of a leader, make positive differences in the life of someone. He has make you happy. You know, sometimes I, I stay awake. Sometimes my whole weekend is used up by fixing time for people, and I'm happy to do that. Uh, opportunity is also it's also give opportunity to learn from uh, a mentee. Uh, then constant engagement of uh, your students because when you when you mentor you you you, you make your interactions your interaction with and I, as a neuroscientist I know that keep you young as an old person as an older generation it keep you young because it is a form of activity anyway uh, and for the younger person who is a mentee it give it an opportunity for network. You reduce isolation because you know that oh this thing is not only my problem. And they have a lot of people who are in the same who are facing the same problem. Benefit uh, from trusted opinion and advice. It makes you to, to benefit from trusted because people are doing it for free. After all, they don't have any strength attached to it. They will and they will help you. And uh, it is it is free. And it's a trusted one, and you can learn from it. And you can learn from other people's visions, how they shape their own. Don't forget, uh, the course of people, young adults, there's nothing like young adults in reality. It's either you are young or you are an adult. Therefore, transition between that period and uh, adolescence, you have to make sure. And it's a feeling that accumulates that. Uh, and the experience is much more. Uh, uh, is if, if not much more to me it's, it's more much more important than intelligence because uh the intelligence is only no ability to what to do when the situation arises but uh experience is knowing that this thing will not work uh then who need a mentor uh a young person with a vision do you have a vision then you need a mentor because mentor are people who help you to sharpen your vision. A person who wants to go far. He said, if you're going to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go in company of people, especially the wise people. And that's among those people, mentors should be there. Number three, a person who want to gain more time. Time is a universal currency. And I used to tell people, money is not the currency. Money is just a unit of the currency. Nothing is made within, within the shortest period of time that is more expensive than things that are made in the accumulated time. That is just it. If you see, not, if you see something that is very expensive, that thing is, is because they, it's, they spend more time in making it. That is just how it is. Therefore, if you spend time to accumulate things, to gain knowledge, I spend my more than 10 years of my life accumulating it and the knowledge. If I want to pour it to you, it's not expensive, though it may look cheap to you. But if you want to gain more time, if you want to add those time to yours, you need a mentor. That helps you a lot. Number four, a person that wants to conserve energy. Yes, the time it takes you to be awake, the time, it, the energy that you need to, to put into making that thing, your mentor will just make it available at a platter. A person that wants to make a greater impact on humanity. If you want to make a greater impact on humanity, you need a mentor. A person that with a limited resources or network. If you have a limited resources, if you have a, a, a limited network, you need a mentor. A person that wants to be a good mentor at the end of the day, because 
you have been made a men, a, you have been mentored to be a good mentor. And therefore, if you want to be a good mentor in life, then you need a mentor because you cannot give what you don't have. Uh, I think we have referred to this. Now I want us to go into the past. I love history. I'm a student of history because uh, because we gain, uh, we learn so much when we look to the behind us. Uh, if you look at this, this is one of the greatest minds I've ever lived. Socrates from Greece. You can see he mentored Plato and Plato mentored Aristotle. All right, you, remember, you know Aristotle? And Aristotle mentor among many, he mentor Alexandra the Great. That was one of the, you know, in fact, he's, he's the greatest warrior who ever lived, who conquered uh, roughly one top of the world landed places. And he became one of the greatest kings. They call it Alexandra the Great, who never lost a war. Therefore, people among many, but I just want to you, I'm just using this to show you how we can live from the from the experience of the past. Therefore, that if you have a great mentor, you can become a great person and you can produce a great mentee. And your great mentee also can establish many things. Therefore, you can make those things a reality. If you can, yeah, yeah, it has worked before. Mentorship is something that has been tested and has worked by humanity. And that you can also tap into. Now, how to identify a good mentor? The question is, I've, I've spoken about how great it is to have be a mentee and to, have, to go into mentorship. But the question is, quite, the main question you should ask is, how do I identify a good one? Because not all mentors are good mentors. Now, one, I, I listed among many, this 10, but I think this one will guide you. One, a mentor must be good at what he or she is doing. He must be good at it. As, they, as I told you, you can see these guys are, they are genius in their own right. Even they, they, are, they are super genius in their own right. And, and by all standards. And today, they are even after about 3,000 years, their work still lives. Therefore, they must be good at what I criteria one. A mentor must love what he or she is doing. The mentor must believe in you that want to mentor. The mentor must believe in you. A mentor should be available. A mentor should be a, should be a person of a good with a good reputation. A mentor should have a big goal, a big dream. A mentor should be proud of his or her mentees. A mentor should know when to let go. Who? You remember what? Do you remember the instruction I gave earlier today to Tosi? Tosi, can you remind us? Tosi, are you there? Oh, yes, Tosin. sir. Yes, sir. What was the instruction? That nobody must unmute. And if they do that, they are how? Yeah, exactly. I should let you go. Because it means you are not here. That is an example of a, of, a, of a good mentor. Because I don't, I don't even, even chicken, when chicken lays her head, roughly 10 to 12, 12, 12, 12 to uh, 14, as they are bought them, they incubate. Within that 18 to 20 days, they will come and check their weight. They check their heat. Any of the egg that seems to be over light, that is too cold, they pick it out. I don't want to waste my energy on someone that I want to distract. Therefore, a, mature, a mentor should be one to be able to identify the bad ones and let them go. Because you don't waste your energy. Energy is very, very difficult. 
to make. Knowledge is not easy. Some, some, some people begged. Some people tried. I remember when I was in Italy in 2013 to go and learn uh, the use of uh, goji apparatus, how to use goji stains, and how to use uh, chirostats. You know, we have in Nigeria, chirostats in Nigeria where they uh, were demorage. They are just there as a museum. We never use them. In my, in my life, I've never seen a functional carousel in Nigeria. I, I walked, they took me into in Cagliari in Italy. And uh, when I was going, you know, I was about to come back to Nigeria and I don't, I don't even know how the system worked there. You know, majority of them speak Italian. They can't even communicate in English. Then when I was coming back, when I, when I was done, then my ticket, I think my ticket at uh, the time I've already elapsed. I need to buy another one. If I just, okay, don't worry. Let me just throw. It's not too far. Lo and behold, from where I am going to where I'm coming, uh, where, I'm, where I'm coming from and to where I'm going, it took me almost an hour walking on the road. Now, that knowledge I want to transfer for someone for free and that person wants to waste my time. No, I don't have that time. I don't have that time. Therefore, the bad ones should be able to easily let go. Let them look, look for their own person who can accommodate it. Now, another thing is the matured one. When you have been, when you have been mentored and the person's already become, a, a, they have already matured, a good mentor will allow that person to go. To allow that person to go. Because one of the bad things about men, mentors is that some people hold on to them and they, 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 they make them, like they keep, continue to keep them like a, a, a little baby and thereby they spoil what they have made because they don't allow those mentees to become independent. Therefore, a good mentor should allow to let them know that, okay, you are already mature. Uh, lastly, a mentor must be committed to mentorship. Uh, quality of a good mentor, of a good mentee. Yeah, as we have talked about the quality of a good mentor, we should be able to talk about this other side of the coin too. Uh, the person should be teachable. As we have talked about the move or move yourself, move or move yourself. Because I know so well that the system will not unmute himself. Therefore, uh, be available. Most of the time, most of my mentee will realize I'm, I'm a person above the privilege that God gave me is ability not to forget. I hardly forget things. But that's why the part of that quality, once I and you, once you approach me for something, I will give you a time for you to call me back. I will tell you, remind me tomorrow. Not because I will forget, but I want to see how committed you are. Uh, TJ, are you here? Are you here on the platform? Can you unmute yourself and talk? Do you remember I gave you time yesterday? Yes. What do I say after that? You said I should not forget. No, what, what, do you, what is your reply? I said I will not go and with it. What is my own reply? He said, okay, if I do, then that means it is, it is my doing. And then, and then what, is, what is your reply? What, what, what was your reply? Okay, I said I won't go with it. Then what is my own reply? You only raised up your hand. No, I, I did this. Okay. What does that mean? Let's see. Okay, okay. I know that was what I'm doing that today. That is a promise. Okay, right? Now, ah. that I want to see. Not because I will forget. Is, is that not what I'm saying now? I didn't forget, but I want to see your commitment to it because it is yours first. It is your work. Right? I'm a people. Your boy will say, Ella Runi Kekini, Unio Kope, Unio Kope. If the owner of the load will be the one to, to initiate the work, if I won't be the one to be dragging you, I want, I, want, I want to see if I want to drag you or you want to be the one to drag me. But I'm not here to be dragged, but I will pretend as if I don't want to move. 
Now, if you if you sit back and you want me to be dragging you, I will say, no, this one is a lazy one. Check out. Therefore, you must be available for your work because it's your work. And I think you must be you should be respectable, especially in Africa, even the rest of the world. I remember in 2011, Professor Janice Weeks is, is now in, uh, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Ghana for the teaching tools. When they were talking, they said they, they were so glad the way we students respect our teacher in Africa. They too, they miss that opportunity in America here. Therefore, which means nobody actually angry with someone respecting them. Which means try to give them a respect. Therefore, and as you say, you say respect is a superpower. Therefore, try to respect your man, be a person of a respectable character. Then be trustworthy. If they give you assignment, if you're, because you're, as, as your mentor, as you are benefiting for your mentor, your mentor may give you an assignment to do. Be trustworthy. Be hardworking. Be hardworking. Be a big, have a big vision. Because once, once you approach me to be my, my mentee, what, what the first thing I want to know is, I want to know your vision. How big is your vision? Then that's one of my first things. If your vision is so small, I will help you to share. I want, I want, it, I will want you to see it in another way. Why can't you do this way? Now, if that's what you want, I will pass it to you to open your mind that you know you can be better than this. That is my own passion. And that is how I mentor my people. Seven. You must believe in him or herself. You must believe in yourself first. You must believe in yourself because he, I can't I, I can't I can't force you to do what you don't believe in. And you actually at the end of the day, you can only take the horse to the river. You can't force them to drink. And then again, you must number eight, you must be proud of his or her mentor. Be proud of your mentor. When your mentor teaches you how to do things, when you are teaching others, tell them, someone taught me how to do this. That, after all, that's their reward. That's their reward, that's their impact. You know, if you, that's the reason why I, I went back to, into, into memory lane. Even as far back as 100 years ago, mentorship is very, very important. Even in fact, that is the essence of academia. Mentorship. And that's what we lost. In Nigeria, and that's the reason why our academics fell to the ground. Because mentors go extra mile to make sure that their mentees succeed. Someone they never met before, someone they don't know their parents, but they just met in the four walls of classroom and they pick them as their mentee and they invest in their life. Therefore, if that person has done that for you, be proud. Mention them on the Google where you where you are when you talk. No, oh, this is this is a person's my mentor. Celebrate them. Be honor your mentor. Honor them. Honor them. Know their birthday. You know, so I, I, sometimes I, I, I'm surprised when some people approach me to help me to do, I help them to do referee. They pick me as their mentor. And in fact, when they when they put my name on the form. They will see right it wrongly. I say, what? You don't know me enough to know my, how my name should be written. Acknowledge your mentor. I've said it again and again. Because that is their reward. And that is what will be a motivation. Is it like a lubricant? Myth of mentorship. I, many people have a lot of myths, and I got this. I don't really have anything to, of interest to offer. That is a part of a mentor and a mentee. I don't, I don't have more things to offer. I'm too advanced to need a mentor. That is not true. In fact, I moved in into this school because of mentorship. Because I need, I need a quality. Among many, I need this quality and I look for it. That's the reason why I apply here. 
Unfortunately for me, the postdoc position has been open for years. They do not have a qualified candidate until I applied. And instantly they picked me. I won't, I won't be able to find someone who will mentor me. No, that is not true. You, you can. A lot of people are out there who are good, who are brilliant, who are committed to mentorship, who are looking for people to, to, to be mentored. Just approach them. I'll, I'll probably bother my mentor. I don't want to bother them. Bother them. That's why they call the mentor. Bother them. But bother them reasonably. I don't have time. OK. You don't have a time. That's why you're supposed to go and mentorship is gaining time. You don't forget what I said. I said mentorship is what? Gaining time. If you don't have time, then go and gain. Going to mentorship is not wasting time. It's an, in fact, it's gaining time. If mentorship is gaining time. It's gaining time. I, I, I don't, I, most of, I've won a lot of grants. They help me because I do form of mentorship and I, and that helped me. Oh, I'm not an expert in the field and there is no expert in the field. Then look for, look around, approach them politely. Let them know that you are tasty. Then you help someone to feed you. Uh, where to find a mentor? The first place to find a mentor is school. You can find both one group, one-on-one uh, -on -one mentorship there. You can find group mentorship. You can find peer mentorship there. You can find. In a society, you, can, you have a society for neuroscience, society for this, you can find them. And, and why, why is it important? Because unlike group, society, is a specialty. You can find people of different classes, then you can easily approach them and talk to them. In association, you can see, see them as well. You can form like AYS. We did the AYS, we have people who are, who are in anatomists, who are physiologists, who are pharmacologists, people who are in engineering, who are in biotechnology, and different field. You have them there. Then you can form a cluster. And above all, we are on social media, right? Uh, this is online. I talked I talk to you about a student uh, who approached me online. Yeah, because people are there on, on different strata. And I love where there's one of my mentees that approached me yesterday. You know, I noticed her that of recent, uh, she just become very active suddenly on the LinkedIn. I said, oh, wow. Then as she told me, oh, she's ready to do this, 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 this. I said, good. Therefore, therefore, if you want to meet people on LinkedIn, on uh, Facebook, on Twitter, make sure that your account is professionally arranged. I give you that lecture. You can follow us on the Facebook and go and listen to that lecture on how I said how to build your social media platform. I gave that lecture because if you are see, because I have a lot of people who have already sent a friendship request to me on my Facebook page. I didn't request for it because my social, my Facebook page is not uh, for purpose of, uh, you can see, I, I almost at every point in time, you will see uh, my, okay, you can't see it because of the background drop. I always have a list of people who send different requests, but when you send a different request to me, first of all, I will first go and check who are you? I want to know you because I don't want to, because my I know my platform, my reputation, is very high to me. You may not, you may not know it, but if you want to, if you want to, if you check my network, in fact, I have about uh, two thousand only. If I want to, I said everybody, I will have, have almost like twenty thousand. But no, I want people that have a reputable character, people that, that that, and I will know by your picture. Some people will send a, send a request to me. No, they don't have their own picture. How will you not have your picture? How would I want to identify you? Look at their place, there's no address, no school they go to there, and you want to send a request to me. 
of all people and you want me to accept it? Why? Then you need to give a minimal information. I don't say you should put all your pictures there. No. You can see my picture here on the uh, if, if I unmute my if I if I close myself now, do you see my picture? Now that is a picture I want people to see. Yeah. Now you can you can you can that is without that and you can if you look at most of my platform, that picture is there in almost almost all of them. Because that is at the time I make it and I make sure it's professional. Therefore, you need to, if you want to connect, you have to package yourself first before you approach. And that will lead me to uh to the next point. You know, how to approach a potential mentor after you have done what I've said. Because the mentor will look for you, especially, especially if that person is not your within your vicinity. If, you, if, it's, if, if the mentor you approach you're approaching is within your department, that's easy. It's easier because that person is likely to have taught you, that person know you. But if the person that doesn't know much about you, then you need to package yourself well. Read well about the mentor, the work the person is doing. Ask if you want to, after you have read, because one of the information, I don't even ask Tosin, where does the Tosin get the, my, uh, the, my data that she read? Now, many people are not that elaborate on, on the media. Now, uh, ask current or former mentee. You can ask them, approach them. You know, I, I used to tell some of you that if you want to, if you want to apply for PhD abroad or postgraduate abroad, make sure you look for this and check. Do they have a students who are already working there? Ask them. Okay, I want to come and work with uh, Dr. So so so. How is this? Then the person will tell you a little bit about the person. That's oh, they will tell you. Especially they will tell you dislike. You know the the way the way to quickly lose the person is, is to is to approach them through their what they don't like. As I said, for instance, me. I look at I look first profile. I look at your profile first. I want you to I want you to put I want you to put your picture there. I want to look at your profile. What do you uh, is it are you gen why not because I'm 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 I want I'm interested in seeing your people. I want to be sure you are you genuine. But a lot of people are creating fake uh, fake messages, and it is hard for people to to. To hide, to hack into your into your platform if they are not your member, if they are not following you, therefore I would I don't want to accept someone who will be duping people around. You see what I uh, posted on recent one doctor uh, in Ibadan sent a message to me that doctor oh someone called me and he said uh, he's talking to me. I said well, he said the person he said I know it's not you. Because that, those who knew I'm not, I'm not, I'm out of Nigeria. Therefore, they are trying to call. And I said, how do they understand? I said, the person said, oh, this is Dr. Adeline. I said, well, that is very, very wrong. Anybody who knows me knows that I don't, I don't introduce myself as Dr. Adeni. If, you, if, I, if, if, if I want to introduce myself, I know how I introduce myself. Those who, who, who met me for the first time know how I introduce myself. Therefore, you need to find out about the person approach the person via text or an email and give time for response give time for response if you are, if you want to send if you want to mail the person uh, abroad make sure you can target monday or tuesday to send the message because that is a fresh day and if the person is uh, is outside the country make sure you send it look at their time you know, very surprisingly, some people call me 3 a.m. here. Don't you check your time? Don't you check your time? You know, yeah, I don't blame you when you are in Nigeria. You may not sell your, your day, you may not sense the time. We are in Africa, in America here, we are more sensitive to time because Americans have like three or four time zones. Therefore, we are very, very sensitive to timing. Like now, here in Louisiana, where I left, they are two hours ahead. Uh, we are in uh, 10 here. They will be around uh, past 12. And people in, uh, in New York, they will be one around 1 o'clock, past 1 o'clock. That is how the time varies. Let me pull it around up. Therefore, don't be angry if you are rejected. It's better for them to reject you than for you not to get a good mentor. If you are rejected, then look for another person. Then... Um, 
mentor mentor relationship is very is, can be a very lasting relationship it can it's like a marriage uh in fact my mentor professor Cassie martins was in my wedding um uh, and one of my great mentor too uh was there too uh on my daddy's very therefore it can be a very long uh relationship but it doesn't mean you cannot lose it you can lose it therefore be careful uh, and 10 ways, and, and I wrote this one. There are 10 ways that I wrote down uh, some days, some um, probably months ago on our platform, how to lose a mentor. And that's why I'm bringing it to him. One, uh, don't carry him along with your professional progress. Yeah. I'm not saying you to tell him, oh, I, I met one girl, beautiful girl yesterday. No, 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 no. But your professional progress, you should carry, update him. Update the person or her. Ignore his or her contributions or suggestions. Just ignore it. Don't take it serious. You will soon lose that person. Always expecting him or her to ask you about your progress. Always expecting, okay, ah, this man did not ask me. Do you tell him? Assume that he or she always available, yes. When you, you know, as I said to TJ, once you send me something, I give you time. I'm letting you know that I'm not always available. Though I may be responding always, but I'm not always available. Don't assume that that person is always available. And oh, I can do it at my own time. And you have to be careful. If, if you don't take your matter serious, then who will take your matter serious? Don't keep to appointments. Always give reasons why the assignment cannot be done. Don't acknowledge his or her inputs in open or close. Assume he or she has no choice. After all, he's my mentor. That is what is supposed to be done by him. Is that not his responsibility? No. Because he has a choice. In fact, when I was in Akibara uh, University, I rejected a student who was posted to me. I think it was, she was first, I think probably first set of the students are supposed to, among the two, are supposed to be given. He says she can't work with, uh, she's from uh, human nutrition and dietetics, uh, or human biology. She says she cannot work with uh, animals. I said, sorry, I'm, I'm a basic scientist. I work, for now, my work is all on animals. And I rejected her. But lo and behold, she went, the person they gave him, uh -huh, she later went to go and work with animal. Because I have a choice. Now, another thing is to erroneously assume that he or she also benefiting, is benefiting from mentoring you. Probably you go, you visit him, he's okay, you have me to review this paper, I have me to do, it's just a part of learning. In fact, the person will give you more work. The person will give you more work. He wants you to grow. And the last thing, if you want to be, if you want to lose your mentor, don't be teachable. My last words are this. There is no excuse for doing nothing. Get something done. I, this is my saying. That if you cannot fly, run. If you cannot run, walk. If you cannot walk, just walk or tread. Or if you cannot walk or tread, crawl. If you cannot crawl, just continue to vibrate like this on a spot. For because you have no reason. Unfortunately, I don't know that statement. And it can resonate. There's a friend of mine about 15 years ago. Actually, uh, he, he, what he does is that, you know, those people that always help us to ban projects, that's the work he used to do then in the learning when we were doing bachelor. I think even when we were doing masters, we went there, it was the one that helped me to do my binding. But he later got admission to UI to study philosophy. I don't know. I think I've already. I'm already here in US in 2019, and he just I just saw his message. He said, "Ah, Brooklyn, 
Thank you, sir. He said every time he want to quit, he will remember that. Thank you, sir, for watching. What I said that if you cannot walk, crawl. If you cannot crawl, just fall. He said, bro, Philip, I actually vibrate. See, I finish in the uh, in the, the bottom. I said, well, congratulations. At least you are finished. Think big. Start small. I, I, think big, but start small. As small as possible. Just do something. Ask if you need help. You are the most important factor in this equation. Therefore, you must stay healthy. Because everything you want to become, once they take you out, is useless. Therefore, stay healthy, mentally focused, and keep yourself. Be focused, keep hope alive, and I wish you all the best. Thanks for listening. Thank you, Dr. Adeniyi, for that very, well, I really got something, and I hope we all did. And Thanks. from what some of the things I got, actually, was uh, if you want to go fast, you go alone, which we all always often want to do. But if you want to go far, you go with the wise, not just with the crowd, especially your mentor. And then if you want to make greater impact on humanity, you must have a mentor, which as scientists, that is one of her hymns. And if you also, one of the reasons why you have a mentor is if you, in giving a greater impact to, your, to humanity, you must also want to be a good mentor to your mentees. And another thing I got when you were talking about a, who a mentor must be is that a mentor must be committed to mentorship. And for the mentee, you must be proud of your mentor and you must also acknowledge them in every work that you do. I want to very, uh, thank you very much, sir, for that great piece. I really enjoyed thank the you. value. I got value from what you ditched out to us this evening. Please, if you have your questions, kindly raise up your hand in the chat box. I will be attending to us one after the other. And I think we have people here. Okay. Okay. Some people have been saying thank you very much for the lecture. Okay. One of the questions here, I will kindly, one of the questions here says, okay, someone said, I learned a lot, but mostly I got inspired again. Now I will pick up again. We'll do well to do that. I think I saw someone raise up their hands now. No. Okay, yes, please. Uh, it's my that is raising his hand. Okay, please. If you have, uh, it's my Please, can you kindly unmute and ask your question, please? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we really appreciate our lecturer. So, my name is Ismail Adekoju. So, the question I have is that, um, during the course of mentor, there's a, this particular way that comes from the mentee's, uh, mentee side, which is the act of, um, being seen as is it should I put it the word is somehow be a slavery action during Maybe the course of the mentorship. Yeah. Huh? I said a protege. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereby the mentor we have to make use of the opportunity by enslaving you. So how do we avoid those, that kind of thing in a mentor and mentor relationship? Well, uh, thank you very much, Ismail. Uh, some uh, you for a mentor to use you is a normal thing, but not overuse. Some people abuse it because don't forget I said it is a is a form of apprenticeship. It's just like you want to go and learn how to sew a clothes, tailoring, and you don't want to sew anything. You just want to be watching. And if your if your teacher is to if your if your team, your mentor if they call a guy back home, it will, oh say okay you, you have to sew this clothes and I will send it. Definitely, if you go out to learn how to sew a cloth, you your part of the cloth you will sew you will be sold, and you may not even get profit out of it. 
Yeah, but, but for instance, if you come into my lab and you want to come and learn, okay, let me. I, I have a I have a case study of a of a student who worked into my lab and he said, I told him, okay, you can come. And I don't have money, but you can you can sleep and you can use my. And today the guy is, is in Taiwan. He used my internet, and I helped me to map the attendance. People, you are learning, but when, when don't have the mentality that this person is using me. When the when the other person is using, what are you gaining? Hmm. What are you? The question is you answer. Say, when I, I, I personally, I, I'm not I'm not offended if person is if anybody is using me. But that word you saying is, is relative. If you are using me, what am I gaining? What am I gaining in doing that? Some days ago, uh, some uh, I think early in 2009 and uh, 19, I, I took my son to hospital to for, for eye check. And I saw one of my uh one of, one of my students who graduated, medical, he's not a medical doctor. Working, he came and posited. He said, Oh, sir, how are you, sir? I said, This is your son. Yeah, I said, I remember when I gave back to when my wife gave back to my, I think, my, my, my last child. As we are about to go and take the birthday card, I just saw a, a young girl walk in. She's now a nurse, was my student. Therefore, sometimes people will seem to be using you. What do they use you for if you are learning? If I don't use you, you are my mentee, and I don't use you to mark, who, how will you learn how to mark? If I don't use you to, if I don't use you to supervise my students, how will you learn how to supervise students? Many of us who, who are who are who are making something today, they were, we are because of what you call use. So you call this use because you are not being paid. Yes, it's, our environment back home should have been. Where you have been, that they should have been paid, but because there are no grants, uh, there is no grant. Yeah, but it, and the, how much is the lecturer collecting? If, if a professor is collecting less than five hundred thousand, yeah, but don't forget that those those people that you call your mentee also they are growing their career. They may not have extra to give you, but what they are giving you is your time, their time. Appreciate it and try to pay something back. When you are all those things you are doing, you are learning. And if you don't want to be used, then you have to go to someone who probably, because if you are being used, it means that that person is busy. But I'm not talking about use of coming home to come and clean the car, come and watch the car. No, 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 that's not, that's not, that's not what I mean. I mean use in a reuse of working to acquire skill, uh, skills. I think that's what I was going to say uh, in a recent. Thank you very much for that, sir. What I got is that in any of your relationship with your mentor, even when it seems as if you are being used, you are getting value. Uh, someone raised up their hands now. Why did the person go? Please, you can unmute and ask your question. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, doctor. This um, lecture was very uh, impactful. The law will continue to increase your knowledge. Thank you. Uh, the question I have, sir, um, in a situation whereby um, uh, somebody you 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 uh, you have decided to choose as your mentor, yes, he has been delegating a lot of assignments, giving you work to do, like assigning you to to monitor or supervise some of his students. But it appears as if he has not been having as in time. He has not been having time, you know, to attend to things as in being there, always busy, engaged with a lot of work. And then most of the time you chat with him, you reply, uh, you call him, he gives you instruction. You just have to meet him and ask him questions before you know the next thing to do. Hence, you will make mistake. So, sir, how do we how do we cope with that? How do we engage such a mentor? Because uh, 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 being a mentor must have time for somebody, so that we'll be able to learn what we need to learn at every point in time. Thank you very much, sir. Um, 
thank you. Um, is that Zavalabi? Like, yes, sir. If, if your yes. mentee doesn't have time, uh, that's the problem. Then that will, that, will, that will slow your learning curve. And that may even lead to a lot of misunderstanding. And, but first of all, is, the question is, why do you choose that person? You know, so I, I, I actually yesterday night, when I got to my bed, I remember I wanted to add this slide, but I forgot. Uh, what I wanted to add, I wanted to add a slide that will contain a mentor, a coach, and a role model. And I want to show those two, those three different things. What the, the similarity and differences between those three? I wanted to draw them as a subset of a larger set, and so you the union, and the intersection between them. They have all of, all the three have an inter, uh, intersection. But mentor is the mother of them all. What do I mean? A role model, some of you have a role model. I know personally, I have a lot <laughs> that are looking up to me. Hmm. But I've never, they have never spoken to me. Some of them even, they will proud, they will call themselves, I'm, I'm their mentor. <laughs> but I never know. That is not, a, I'm not their mentor. <laughs> If you have never spoken to me, if you have never said message, I'm not your mentor, I'm just your admirer, probably or the utmost best. I'm your role model. Therefore, then a coach, a coach is a person who doesn't know, not know how to do it, but he can teach you to do it. Hmm. That person may not necessarily be the best, that's what I mean, in the, in the field, but hmm. a mentor is a person who usually be the best in the what they are doing. They do. That's different. It's like, it's like you want to be a footballer and you, and you want to go and meet uh, uh, Messi. <laughs> or that's okay. It's quite different from hmm. if you want to go and meet uh, Sir Alex Ferguson. Hmm. Now, hmm. that's, if, you, if, you, if you are meeting, if the person is good at it, but he doesn't have, let me give you this rule. For your mentor mentee relationship to, be, to work smoothly, at least you and your mentor to speak one on one at least once in two weeks. I mean, apart your personal progress, not on the ground, just this, apart your personal progress. Once in two weeks. If that thing is not happening, then uh, just as uh, my uh, it's my said, then you are, it's like you are being used. <laughs> you should be able to talk about your personal progress. Okay, what is the next thing? My mentee knows all my all the students are supervised in Nigeria Dubai is travel. All of them from about two weeks ago. I sent a message to them. Ah, you are you doing this? One, one of them just called me when he, he, he called me in, uh, well, about three weeks ago or uh, two weeks ago. Oh, I just landed in the uh, UK. Now I'm here for for my master's. Okay, that's good. Okay, what do you want to do there? After? Okay, uh, I, I want to work with, uh, after that. Okay, that's good. All the best. If you want to come, if you want to proceed for your PhD, let me know. You can move over here from UK. That's it. So I'm, I can ask some of them, so, okay, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Therefore, you need to be in contact with your mentee. And this, either through text or through email, at least. Some of, some of our boss back home have rules. You, you don't chat there. But make, if if those rules, if they cannot, if you cannot, op, if you cannot tell them your request, tell them your problem, then that person is not ready to mentor you. And you know, you, you cannot give what you don't have. Some of them may not have a, may, may not have access to good mentor when they are growing up. Therefore, that may affect them as well. Some people, some people pick. They are happy to be uh, course coordinator, HOD, than be a mentor. I prefer to be a mentor than any of those things. <laughs> I prefer to be a mentor. What is what is there? What what I benefit being an HOD? Because I want to go to Senate meeting and help for what? <laughs> it's an I'm a scientist as all for anything that will that will distract me from being a scientist. I don't want to take that. 
But some, some people are interested. They want to be a HOD. They want to be there, but they are busy going for meetings where their students, they supposed to, their primary assignment is being wasted away. Some of them are like that. But you just have to choose it. If you cannot see your mentor to talk to in a month, then that's is you, how much, how many months in a, in a year? 12. If one month is missing, then what are you getting? Then talk to your self and move ahead. Thank you very okay? much. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for that explanation. Uh, someone has this question. Also, can you explain how one can join the African Young Scientists, especially for non-Nigerian? Yep. Uh, if you are a non-Nigerian, uh, you, are, you are also welcome. In fact, uh, that's the reason why the name, the name of AYS is not Nigerian Young Scientists. Uh, yeah, you can send a message to me directly, uh, or you can go to our website and register. Uh, where is our AYS page? Let me see if I can see. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is our page. This is our website. This thing is distracting me. Let me let me hide it. Okay. Uh, you, you can go and register here. This is our home page. Uh, can you see you can join here that's you can see aysm.org then go to join ays therefore you can join as a mentor you can join as a mentee can you see that i hope you can see my screen yes sir okay can you see then you click on join the ays and fill all those forms i said the reason why the reason why we are here to make it fully official is because I'm building the, the mentee part because you are uh, the mentor part because you're supposed to select and uh, this is that we are building that is uh, you because you're supposed to select uh the mentor here. I select suggest the mentor from our mentee list. Or you can see me or you can chat me up. Uh you can mail me, uh, you can mail our I can mail through this at me at aysmp.org. I will respond to that, but then you can still fill your form online. And you can look up for our next webinar here. You will see the information about our webinar. You can meet our, our team. You can see them, you can talk to them. Uh, Sorry, sir. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Please, do we have any more questions before we call it a day? Any more questions? Okay, then, if there are no more questions, I'm sorry, I had to mute my video. I am not where there is light, so it won't be necessary. Uh, well, sir, Dr. Adeni A. Philip, we really appreciate your time for dishing out value to us this evening we are immensely grateful and we cannot thank you enough for the value that we have gotten and i hope that even henceforth we will use that value even to the greater uh, to the greater uh, uh, help to humanity to everyone that has made time out to actually be a part of this webinar series we are also give saying thank you for making out time to get value yes he gave time to give value and Thank you for making our time to get value and to be a better part of the society and also to give greater value to the society. Please, today is not the last day. We have three days and today is just the first day. And I can say that we can also testify that it is going to be indeed a time of great value. So please join us again tomorrow, the same time, 5.30 to 7 p.m. and the same link tomorrow and i also want to tell you that at the end of this webinar series we'll be giving out a certificate of attendance to those that participated in the three days so please to partake of this make it uh make sure that you attend for the three days and tomorrow we'll be discussing the topic that says the right attitude in a mentor mentee relationship we have seen the need for mentorship to make a successful career of being scientists, but tomorrow we'll check the right attitude 
to be in a mentor mentee relationship and we'll be having dr emmanuel balogun tomorrow so please be a part of that tomorrow and i wish us a very beautiful night and i hope that tomorrow we'll see you again thank you very much for coming i don't know if dr uh adeni has anything to say before we go sir no i don't uh, well i have but uh what about the chairman of the webinar is she around uh the webinar committee uh probably she has something to say if you are here okay you are here yes let's hear from you indeed it's a great start to the series um, uh, those who have attended who have gained immensely from it and would spread the word to those who have missed today's opportunity they are still for everyone to learn and i hope we'll have more people than we have today joining us for tomorrow and sunday as well thank you for a beautiful lecture it was indeed an impact and uh anchor did a great job well done thank you to all our participants as well okay thank you okay see you tomorrow uh if you if you still have any question personally you can you can chat me up and you can mail me directly. And uh, you can just send it to AYS at me. I'll be I'll be there to, to answer you. And uh, then if you want my phone number, then I can give it to you. All the best. Enjoy your day. And invite your friends tomorrow. Dr. Uh, Balog will be here to give us a beautiful lecture tomorrow and make us enjoy. All the best. Good night.